much, man. Wow. Because so you guys I, are pulling up masks. So I called the emergency, non-emergency number about like, um, I think the other day to let them know. This was on Subject, Saturday. Uh, and I told them I would be filming on Saturday and, and on uh, Wednesday as well. This is what's going to get someone potentially gun stuck or someone hurt. Yeah, what the, we have people stopping in the middle of the street because they're watching this. Guys pulling up ski masks, throwing stuff on the ground, changing clothes. We actually stepped it up and like pushed our, like, our, I guess, our, yeah, it worked. Yeah. And I just didn't expect this to actually happen because, like, most of the people are just always laughing because they, they're trying to, like, usually tell right away. But, but then, like, I guess the ski mask is kind of like, oh, major. you think about what's going on nowadays. Mm -hmm. Think about it, man. You've got to be smart enough, man. You know better. Like I, like I said, I want you guys to be creative and do what you want to do, but you've got to be smart enough. What do you think people are going to do? You're absolutely lucky to be able to get in front of you. Right? Just be careful. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. You rent some facility, you rent a wide open parking lot, you set it up, you worry everything's locked up and cordoned off. Everybody in that scene knows you're doing this, you do your thing, nobody gets called because it's in a closed, controlled environment. You're not going to have public people walk by going, what the hell? 911, we got guys with ski masks. What the heck? You got your Uber driver pulled over too, and he's freaking out. I thought I just assumed you because I was laughing. Oh, so don't forget, tired. like now oh, you got your Uber driver. Thank you, guys. And twin brothers from Irvine who gained millions of YouTube followers by making prank videos could end up in prison. Alan and Alex Stokes have been charged with false imprisonment, accused of faking bank robberies in Irvine last October. And during one of the pranks, police mistakenly pulled a gun on an Uber driver. Now, officers say the incident could have resulted in someone getting seriously injured or even killed. If convicted, the twins could each face up to four years in prison. And they did knew better. They did. They knew better until they posted a video to YouTube and they could have scared somebody. Here are the last of my thoughts here. If they do go to jail for four years in prison, and that'll be one of their first events in like a while. Just because you are a YouTuber doesn't mean you get some special Sentencing now will allow you to be in jail for at least seven months or four months. I mean, what you guys did was so very, very dumb and not very well-minded of you, not very smart at least, that it could be possible that you could be in jail as soon as, well, very soon. Obviously, if that happens, um, you guys deserved everything you get in jail. The next time you do these pranks, uh, make sure they're not looking like it's illegal to do, because what you did is illegal. And I don't think your fans appreciate that either, so.